Tonight's program is about giving us not a sense of how we fit into the expanse of space, but rather how we fit into the expanse of time. We humans, we are both rational and emotional. It's a combination that drives us to ask questions. Why are we alive? What exactly is life or consciousness? I mean, what do you or I, this planet, this galaxy, this universe, what does it all mean? Here's the story so far. In the beginning, the universe was created. This has made a lot of people very angry and has been widely regarded as a bad move. Imagine all of cosmic history from the beginning until today is compressed into a single calendar year. The Big Bang happened on January 1st. The Milky Way galaxy formed on May 16th. The Earth formed on September 4th. The first multicellular life formed on December 3rd. And the first modern humans appear at 11.40 p.m. on New Year's Eve. And the rest is a flash. Such stuff as dreams are made on. And our little life is rounded with a sleep. Simply marvel at the fact that a collection of particles like you and me, that's all we are, a collection of particles can not only stand up and look around and wonder how we got here, but also wonder how best to spend the precious little time we're all given. Science is a powerful, exquisite, astonishing tool for grasping an external reality. But within that understanding, within that rubric, everything else is the human species looking inward, contemplating itself, grasping what it needs to carry on, and telling a story that reverberates into the darkness, a story carved of sound and etched in silence, a story that at its best can stir the soul. Silence.